New tonight, a bus driver for Bryant schools is facing a felony charge after being arrested for driving students while under the influence. THV 11's Ashley Godwin has the details, including how this is the second time a driver in that district has endangered students with a DWI. It was right at this intersection of Boone and Winchester where Bryant bus driver Juanita Criswell was said to have just stopped the bus. Some students were said to have walked home. Others called their parents. He just seemed kind of uh, kind of confused about why he was going the directions he was going. Chris and Jen Kaufman's son was on a Bryant school bus Wednesday afternoon going home. Their son texting them as the driver started going off the normal route. He was approaching the freeway, um, then he was crossing the freeway, and then he was coming back and then stated that the bus would stop. In a statement, Bryant School says the driver had never driven this route before. They said there was not an accident with another vehicle and the bus did not hit anything. So they don't know why the driver stopped the bus. Benton police officers were called to the area where the bus was stopped. They said they got reports of the bus driver driving recklessly and not allowing children off the bus. 54-year-old Juanita Criswell was arrested and charged with driving while intoxicated and endangering the welfare of a minor. I'm concerned about it. Um, this is the second time in a year um, that this has happened. Chris and Jen's son will continue to ride the bus. They're just grateful he handled the situation so maturely. The fact that he communicated and reached out to us when something was going on gives me a little bit more confidence in him because it's like we tell him, we trust you, it's the other people that we've wondered about. Now this is the second time within a year span where Bryant School District bus driver has been charged with a DWI. Last year in August, the bus driver ran off the road while transporting students in the bus. I talked to the Arkansas Department of Education. They said it's up to the school districts on what criteria is met to hire bus drivers. In Benton, Ashley Godwin, THV 11 News. Thanks so much, Ashley. We asked the Bryan School District whether Chris Well was still driving buses, but they refused to comment on her employment status.